Well, hey, welcome back, fam. This is the Professor, and we're we're I'm in a warmongering kind of mood. We got uh, a video about selling fighter planes to India. Let's go, man. Is co-protector of India watching over you while you sleep, hovering, protecting the border with your military? Uh, let's look at this video. In mid-October, the government of India kicked off a new program to attract hmm. foreign aircraft makers to build military Very fighter good. jets for the Indian Air Force in India using the foreign company's technology. India is dangling an initial quantity of some 200 single-engine fighter planes, hmm. with the possibility what, of hundreds more. All over According to a report at Defense News, the Indian Ministry of Defense has invited some overseas participants to bid on the bid program. On. India reportedly would prefer a government-to-government -government transaction based on pricing and trials from invited vendors. The United States, Sweden and Russia the are allegedly the leading Russia? contenders, Sweden. with Lockheed Martin Corporation, Saab and, probably, power? Russia's United Aircraft the United is the expected bid. Right? In late September, hmm. India signed an agreement with France to acquire 36 Dassault Rafale fighter jets for a reported $8.85 billion. 8 .8 billion. According to a report from Reuters, the deal with Dassault was originally supposed to, to include 126 huh? between engine Rafales, uh, but no agreement could be reached dollars. on the terms of production in India. Lockheed Martin has offered to transfer the entire production of its F-16 fighter to India, making the country the exclusive producer of oh, the single-engine F-16. Mm, that makes sense. Sweet. Saab, makers of the Gripen single-engine fighter, has also said that it is ready and able to produce the planes in India. Defense hmm. News reported that the new fighter program is intended to replace 11 squadrons Russian MiG-21 seconds and MiG-27 seconds that are being retired over the next 10 years. Each squadron consists of 18 planes each, for a total of 198 aircraft. The total could go much higher however. The Indian Air Force is already facing shortage of combat jets as it has around 33-34 wow. operational I mean, fighter squadrons, afternoon. while officials believe they would need 45 squadrons in a hypothetical confrontation with China or Pakistan. 45 squadrons equal 810 China, aircraft. Russia, India, the F-16, the Gripen and the Rafale are fourth generation fighters. The U.S. Air Force well, single-engine F-35 Joint strong Strike strong Fighter India. is a fifth generation a aircraft, as is the twin-engine really, Russian really Sukhoi T-50 PAC you know, FA that is expected the, to begin deliveries to the Russian Air Force next Russia year. From it India and Russia signed an agreement in 2007 to develop a fifth generation a fighter based on the right, PAC FA, but the deal has foundered on disagreements over technology transfer, costs and the number of aircraft to be built. Try to be his friend. Try to be nice. Maybe if I'm nicer to him. Would that work? No. You know what worked is when you beat the crap out of him. Is when you took your steel lunchbox and nobody was looking and you just bashed him in the head with it. We did that and he was like, Doo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Then, guess what? All of a sudden he respects you. So, I think this is a great move right here. Get more planes, being a stronger India. Sends a message to your enemies. You want some? You ready to step? Why are you fronting? What's up? What's up? That's what it says. So, um, I think that would be great. I mean, it would be, it would be great for America to get that. Um, it would also be great for the Russians, too. I'm sure the Russian economy could use it. Anybody could use some kind of thing like that. You know, so, um, good job. And, uh, yeah. Top Gun, baby. We need an Indian Top Gun. Ind a Bollywood version of Top Gun. Rishi Kapoor's kid, grandson, the Kapoor kid. You cast him in it. Pa-pow! Alright, I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.